Dr. Peacock. This morning I want to show you a patient that had a rather, se rather severe issue with her heel and she had gone to other pro uh, providers as well and had a lot of different treatment options that no nothing really worked for her. She had all the, all the normal conservative care measures such as orthotics uh, and cortisone injections. She wore a cam walker for more than six weeks. She also had uh, physical therapy done and also she has shockwave therapy done. None of this helped her heal. When she came to me, um, we did do an additional cortisone shot which only helped for about a day or two. So her pain was atypical. We also tried to do some uh, trigger point injections to see if it was nerve pain and none of these actually helped her as, at, at all. So what we did, we uh, got a uh, bone scan on her and we found that she did have some areas in her foot which were uh, lighting up with the bone scan. She has a rheumatological disease and so we're suspecting that maybe she had uh, one of the heel pain, uh, pain types of presentations where there's congestion uh, due to inflammation in the heel. So we treat her that way. So I'm going to show you a decompression technique. It's kind of an older technique. It's a simple surgery uh, but, it's a, but it is a very effective surgery in certain patients like the patients well, we're going to show you today. So the first thing we need to do when we, before we take, do the technique, we have to map out exactly where we need to go. And one of the big players there, we're going, for, we're going to go to the lateral aspect of the heel in this surgery. So we map out the sural nerve to make sure we know exactly anatomically where that nerve would, which should, should be. And so we don't injure the sural nerve. <clears throat> and as you know from, uh, from anatomy, about a uh, finger breadth away from the fibula is where, is where the uh, sural nerve is going to course through. So we mark that out. And then the second thing we do before the surgery, we take our C arm and we use a, I usually use a, a small curette to kind of uh, give my markings of where the heel, heel's at and I'll put a little dot there and we draw the heel out in its totality. And then we look at this in comparison where our sural nerve's at, and also comparison where the inflammation is in the heel itself. So we use our bone scan to know where we're going to kind of uh, make our incision at. So we map that out. If you look further, further on here, you can see where we map that out and you can see two little dots that I put on the heel and that's where the inflammation of the heel is at. That's where we're going to make our incision. The surgery is fairly simple. It's a percutaneous surgery. We're going to use a ice and burr to do the surgery. We're going to take, make three passes into the heel to allow the decompression to take place in the heel. Once we have our landmarks, we'd make a percutaneous incision with a 67 or 6400 blade, free some of the periosteal structures, and then we take a short isham uh, burr, and the two areas in between where we have inflammation will go directly between those two areas, where I have marked on the external part of the skin there, and we'll make a drill hole uh, just perpendicular to the, to the surface. And this is a, not very deep, just we go right through the cortex and then back back out. Uh, this is a slow motion, uh, this is very slow uh, uh, with, it, with the burr. Check our C arm just to make sure everything's okay that way. Now we're going to angle about 45 degrees and make an anterior pass. This is done in this direction. Then last, last we'll do another pass into the other part of the inflamed area. And this is done. Now you're basically done. You're letting the uh, heel bleed out. There's no sutures put on this. Checking our C-arm again to make sure the cortex is good. And then we put a fluffy bandage on this. It has to be a fairly large bandage so that uh, any bleeding is actually captured within the bandage. And basically that's the extent of the surgery. The surgery is very quick and um, allows for treatment of patients that have congestion and inflammatory heel disease. I'm Dr. Peacock. I'm a professor in the Academy of Allentory Foot and Ankle Surgery. And we're going to finish up with a video we've already started on a calcium decompression. This patient had chronic heel pain and atypical type heel pain. The pain never really went away with the typical uh, treatments like cortisone shots or splinting or even casting. She had it quite a, quite a long period of time. We did a bone scan and we found that she was getting a lot of uh, inflammation actually in her heel bone. So we did an older technique where we actually did a decompression. If you look at the outside of our foot and see what we did is this is now 
four months post. We basically mapped out where the inflammation was at. We made made an incision, a stat percutaneous incision here, and we took our our Isham burr and made three passes, which allowed uh, allowed the uh, heel to bleed out. And this is an older technique; it's not used a lot today in podiatry. But for these types of patients, plantar fascia releases, shock wave, and all these things have not worked for her. She didn't get a plantar fascia release, but she did have shock wave and other typical treatments. So now we're, we're at four months later, and we're going to just ask her now, you, uh, this morning as you come in, uh, how, what would you say your pain relief is now in your foot? Um, like I said earlier, it's probably like 75% better now. Okay, that's good. So what we've got is a patient with 75% improvement in her pain in four months, uh, where other, other typical type of treatments were not helping her. So. This is a modality that can be used for atypical pain when you're suspecting a congestion of the heel or inflammation of the heel itself.